Alice Beyond the Looking Glass. Once upon a time, a little child lay bored inside her room. Her name was Alice. Hmm, I wish it was sunny so I could play. Even the flowers are asleep. What a mess. Come play chess with me, please. Alice was only seven and a half years, but extremely imaginative and curious. Meow. There, you can be the red queen. I'll be the white queen. I wish I could be a real queen. Kitty, sit straight. Fold your arms. Meow. Ooh, you knocked it all down! That's it! Meow! See, Kitty, if you don't behave, I'll put you through the looking glass. That room looks almost the same as ours, except it isn't? Meow! The books, they're all written backwards. My right hand has turned into my left hand. <laughs> Alice was so engrossed in the room beyond the looking glass that she accidentally tripped. Ooh! Oh! Huh? What happened? Am I inside the looking glass? She had indeed fallen into the room in the looking glass. is supposed to be there. Oh no! Everything's the opposite. Even the clock is wrong. <laughs> oh, the chessboard. Alice walked over to it, but found no pieces. Strange. They don't seem to be anywhere. Hmm. Let's see what Looking Glass Land is like. Alice wandered out of the house. She looked around and spotted a garden far in the distance near a hill. Ooh, how pretty. I need to get closer to that hill. Alice walked along a path that seemed long and winding. Why am I not getting closer? Oh, it's the house. But how? Let's try again. The more she walked towards the hill, the further it got until the house appeared in front of her again. What? But how? Oh, I'll just go the other way. I just can't unders... Huh? Alice had reached the gates of the garden, but she was confused as to how that had happened. How curious. Wow, it's so beautiful. I wish you could talk. We can talk when there's anyone worth talking to. Oh! Alice was stunned. She'd never heard a flower speak before. Do all the flowers speak here? Louder and clearer than you, at least. A very strange flower you are. You're not the right color. Forget color. Her petals aren't curled enough. Maybe she's a tourist. Flowers don't talk where I come from. Feel the ground. What do you think? It's very hard. Exactly. Most flower beds are very soft, and so the flowers are always asleep. I would love a soft bed, though. You know, there's another flower just like you in this garden. It walks around, too. You mean there's another person here? What's she like? Too red and her petals are high and folded. She has thorns on her head, too. Oh, here she comes. Alice turned around and saw the Red Queen approaching her. She looks like the queen on my chessboard. Oh, how did she get further? Maybe if I walk the opposite way.
Oh! Don't say oh to me. That's rude. Alice had now understood that everything was opposite in this world. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Who are you? Speak up and curtsy. Oh, oh dear. I'm Alice, Your Highness, and I come from the other side of the looking glass. A foreigner? And why have you come here? I was trying to reach the hill, but... Then why are you here? How silly. Come. Before Alice knew what was happening, she and the queen were running up the hill. Ooh. Ooh, your majesty. Can... can we... stop? We're almost there. The trees flew past them, and soon they came to a stop. Alice looked ahead and was stunned. It looks like a chessboard. Indeed. There were rivers dividing the land into large squares. I wish I could be queen too. Do you think I could? Easily. But you'll start as a pawn first. To be a queen, you'll need to reach square eight. I shall take you up till square three, from where you must catch a train to square four. But where do we... Ah! Faster! Faster! Hurry! Alice felt her legs would fall off, but finally, they came to a halted train. Oh! Is that... the train? Your Majesty? Oh, where did she go? Are you getting on? Oh, oh! Yes, I am! Well, climb aboard then! Alice scrambled up into a carriage. She looked around marveling at the different creatures there, but they too were looking at her. So young a child. So strange a creature. Is she a tourist? The train ride was long and uncomfortable, with all the passengers whispering around Alice. Finally, she got off at the fourth square. Thank goodness I've reached. Now where do I go from here? How did you do that? But I never! Boo-hoo! Is that... It's Twiddledum and Twiddledee! Who are you? Why are we fighting? Who's she? I don't remember why! <laughs> I'm Alice. What's an Alice? Don't know! But she's short! Well, you're both short too. Do you know how to get to square? We know to rhyme. Do you love poems? I know about you two and a rattle from a poem. Rattle! Now I remember! Oh no! Look at it! All ruined! No, wait! Please tell me how. Ooh! What's that? Oh no! Oh no! Run! Run! Uh oh! The twins ran away, leaving Alice behind a tree, shivering in fright. The storm, although strong, disappeared just as fast as it had come. Hmm, what's this? A shawl? Don't lose that shawl! It's mine! Ooh, the White Queen! My, how strange she looks! Indeed, the White Queen was completely untidy. Her clothes were draped in an unruly manner and her hair was a tangled mess. Oh, my shawl. That mean wind stole it from me. Hmm, uh-oh. Wait, let me do it for you, your majesty. Majesty? Oh, you mean me. Sometimes I forget I'm a queen. A complete mess I am. No idea how to walk like one or dress like one. la dee 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 da dee dee Wait, wait, your majesty. How do I get to square eight? Why don't you take a step to the left and bow? Hmm. Oh no, I don't think so. Oh, what's happening? The white queen was transforming and Alice found herself staring at a floating egg. The egg suddenly began to grow and rise into the air. Oh. 
Oh, I know you. You're Humpty Dumpty. I've read about you in a book. Must have been a very intellectual book. Well, not really. My name is Alice. What a silly name. What does it mean? I don't know. Does it have to mean something? Of course it does. Ask me another question. Well, why are you here all alone? Silly question, because no one else is here with me. <laughs> Please, which square is this? It's as many fingers on your one hand. <laughs> so the fifth square? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Alice was getting tired of Humpty Dumpty, so she turned and walked away. She soon reached the sixth square and was amazed at what she saw. There was a crowd cheering at a duel between a lion and a unicorn. An actual unicorn! Oh dear, when will this end? Your Majesty, why are those two dueling? They're dueling for the crown. Whose crown? My crown. Woohoo! Yay! Woo! I think that's enough for today. Yes! I almost had you. The duel has ended. Where's the plum cake? Uh, oh, yes. B -b -b bring out the plum cake. Child! Cut the cake! What are you? I'm a person. I've never seen a unicorn before. And I've never seen a person before. Why isn't anyone serving me cake? Oh, I'm trying, but every time I cut it, it sticks back together. That's because you're doing it wrong. Serve it first, and then cut it. Alice was extremely baffled at this. She watched the slices divide themselves as she served the cake around. No, you cut it! But how do I cut an empty plate? Ooh, what's that noise? The booming was deafening, and Alice got up and ran across the brook. After a while, the sound died down, but when she opened her eyes, she was completely lost. Have I reached another square? Check! You are now my prisoner! What? Check! No, she's mine! To Alice's horror, they began to duel. She hurriedly hid herself behind a huge rock. Oh dear, I don't want to be anyone's prisoner. Hmm. The sounds have ended. Greetings. It's my victory. I don't want to be your prisoner. I want to be queen. And so you shall. I will see you safely off to the eighth square. Alice was surprised. But the kind white knight led Alice across the meadows and brooks till finally... I finally reached the eighth square. I must now leave you. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Oh, how wonderful! Ooh, what's this? It's a crown! As Alice stared at the lovely crown, she suddenly found herself sitting on a grand throne, the two queens beside her. At your party, of course. You're now Queen Alice. Hmm, but you act like a little goose. I can act like a proper queen. I doubt that. Order the trumpeteers to stop their trumpets. All right. Stop. Stop. But Alice's voice wasn't strong enough to bring order to the feast. See, try asking the butlers to bring you food. Alice tried her best, but no butler could hear her over the noise. 
see? You can't be a proper queen without my help. Alice grew angry, and seeing this, the Red Queen shrunk herself to escape. But Alice caught her just in time. Why must you be so tiresome? Strangely, the Red Queen started to change shape. She turned heavier and furrier, and soon grew a tail. Meow. Huh? Kitty? Ooh, was that all a dream? Meow. Oh, Kitty, I must tell you all about it. Come. Told you Alice was imaginative, or was it really all just plain imagination? Phew!